<laughs> All right, time for the regal touch here on A Cup of Joe. Um, yes, so who knew that Black Panther was a cake artist? <laughs> <laughs> I have this morning, this young man, he is of uh, Tempting Temptations, and his name is Reis Sudu. Yes. I got that pronunciation correct? Yes. Yes. Very good. Welcome. Thank you. So let's talk first while your water is bubbling away here, boiling away here. Um, that's cake. Yes, everything there is 100% edible. So, so we can eat Black Panther sure, after. Can give, after we make the eclairs, you can go ahead and cut it. You're a fan of the movie? Yeah, really yeah, good. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, that's, that's as real as it got there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's really amazing how you guys come up and create all these wonderful things. Yeah. Um, and everything edible, as you said. Yes. Including the leaves. Yes, including leaves, except for the board. Yeah, the board is <laughs> All right, so don't eat the board, Joel. This morning, Reese is here with us, and uh, he's out of uh, Tempting Temptations, his own brand, and, and he's a cake artist, as we've been telling you over the, over the last few weeks, you've been seeing different cake artists dropping by and kind of just showing you how you can do different fun things with cakes. Yes. And yes. Reese is going to show us how to make custard this morning. Yes, I will be. Custard. So tell me a little bit about custard and the importance of custard to the entire process. So we'll be using the Regal custard powder to right. make some eclairs. But firstly, we need to make the custard base to go inside of the eclairs. Right. So firstly, just going to show you all what we're going to be doing. We're doing exactly as the pack says. The only difference, I'll just be adding a little extra of the custard powder. Right. Why? Because Why? You... Because we're going to use one base and make different flavors. Okay. So that way it allows you to have... Um, a bit of a thick, thicker custard right. to stretch throughout right. the arm. So you could do a plain custard powder. A plain and custard add, and add, add, add any other flavor you want. Got you. Got so you. to this, we're going to add, instead of two tablespoons, we're adding three tablespoons of the custard powder. So that's the regal custard yes, powder. Yes, it is. And to boil, or you're, or you're mixing so the dry. So we're mixing the dry ingredients. Yeah, I with, knew that. And right. then we have our water boiling. Right. So we have the custard powder, the regal icing sugar. Okay, custard powder, icing sugar. One egg. One egg. And then we have some milk. Okay. Everything goes in. Everything here goes into this. We mix this until all the dry ingredients are incorporated. Right. And then we're going to add this to this bowl. Oh, we're adding the water yes. to the, the hot water, boiling water. Because if you add this directly into this pot, then you're going to start to cook your eggs and you'd end up with scrambled custard. Okay. So a sweet omelet, in other words. Right, right. And you don't necessarily want a no, sweet omelet. No, you don't want that. <laughs> all right, so you mix properly. Yes, so you can see all the lumps are slowly disappearing. Right. And our water is boiling. Boiling, boiling are we ready? Boiling is the important part there. Must have Because if it's too cold, then the custard is just going to take extremely long to come in. You're putting this water in to show us now? Or? Yes. Yes, yes. So this yes. is this here. No lumps. No lumps. Very and good. And then we're just going to slowly add this into the bowl. That was slowly. Yes, that yes. was slowly. Right. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> if that was your slow, I mean, I mean, you're a Black Panther superhero kind of fan. So if that was your slow, <laughs> your fast is... <laughs> well. So now to this, we're going to add it back to the pot. Oh, so keep the what? Keep the pot boiling. Keep mm, the... Keep the, oh, the no. fire could still be on. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. And to this now, we are just going to stir continuously stirring. Do not take your eyes off it. Right. Otherwise, it's going to burn. It burns very easily. So we're just going to stir this until it comes to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, it would become thick. And then we have our It gets like product. this. Yes. It literally gets like this. It gets just like that. Hold so up. of course, you need to allow it to cool before you add your flavorings right. and whatnot. Right. You would see how... Right, thick it that gets. thick it gets. So, so in yeah. other words, how long when I when I stir, I need to keep stirring? At the end of the day, it depends on the size of your pot. Right. But for this size pot, it would just probably take around three minutes for it to start to come to a boil. Three minutes, three minutes, and I keep stirring, and, yes. I, and I'm going to get thick like that. Yes. So we don't have to wait three minutes because no. you did we some already for us. Have it, you did right? some for us there already. Nice. So I can move this for you. Thank you. So, so we're going to flavor the custard now. Yes, we're going right. to flavor it. So. To this here is just cocoa powder with some water. The reason why we add the water is so we don't get cocoa lumps in the custard. Right, you don't want lumps And remember, in the we added the extra custard powder. Right. So that would allow it to keep its consistency. 
Cool. So if you go ahead and just mix this with this for me. I'm just pouring all of this yeah, in pour it. Yeah, pour all of this into it mm -hmm. and mix. And I would be adding some pistachio, chopped pistachio, to the other batch. Okay, so you're not doing you're not doing chocolate. If you where you want to do the pistachio? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm just checking what you're doing there and giving. Okay, so this is supposed to get like this, right? Yes. Yeah, so just incorporate all of the cocoa into into it. So, so you don't cocoa really... custard. Yes. A cocoa, cocoa custard. custard. Yeah, yeah. No, that no, no making sense. <laughs> things have to kind of make sense somewhere before, you know? So um, I'm doing things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Things have to make sense to me in the kitchen. Right, nice. Okay, so I, yeah, I did a cocoa custard. And you're right. doing a pistachio and custard. And I'm doing a pistachio. So, making sense. we're going to fill it now. Right. How good are you with a piping bag? Ooh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, I've been practicing my piping. Okay, very good. You want me to put it in your bag for you? Chef Cheryl and Short Charles. She taught you. Yes, she so did. She's been working on my piping skills. Oh, that's very good. That's good. But I'm not a very good student. <laughs> <laughs> so, so why don't so you just pour it in pour here? Pour it in here? Yeah. yeah. Don't pour oil. You keep back some just okay. for... Tell me when to stop. A little more. A little more. Yes. Right. That's perfect. That's good. Thank you. Yeah. You just hold on to this. Right. Let me put the pistachio in my own. Right. So we have two. So you can take your plain custard that we made. Yes, there. so you that see recipe. we just did two different flavors, two different the pistachio flavors. and the cocoa. Cocoa. That the custard recipe, guys, you can get on trinicooks.com. Just what you saw Reese did here. Um, we get that recipe on trinicooks.com. And you can flavor your custard based on what Reese is saying yes. any way you, you, you like. Be careful. Oh, yeah, you yeah. see, I tell you, you see my piping, <laughs> my piping. So, instead of, now we're going to fill the eclairs, right? Right. Now, a lot of people either fill to the base or to the side. But we're going to fill to the top because we're going to put a coating to be hiding where the insertion of the custard was. So it helps it look a little more professional. Fancy like that. Okay. Yes. Right. So you can see I made two insertions. Two insertions, yeah. So you can go ahead, just No, gently. no, no. I, I need to watch you first. Okay, so yes, please. I will be doing this one. Right. See it slightly gets a bit fatter. Right. And then on the other end. Oh. oh. Right, and it's puffing up there. Right. right. So there you go. One hole, two hole. All right. Yeah. Squeeze nothing, nothing gently. Gently. Go. Gently. Oh. Hey, hey, see my pipe. Whoa. Next side. Next side. All right. That's good. That's good. Not too much. <laughs> you want to do another one? If you you're insist. practicing, right? If you insist, yeah. If you insist. <laughs> if you insist. Right, you don't want to overfill it. Right. I'm not recognizing how quickly it's filling up nicely there. Yeah. There you go, my piped eclair. Very good. Chef Cheryl will be proud of me. <laughs> Chef Cheryl will be proud of me. All right, so remember we kept back some of this, right? Right. Right. So we're going to add some whipped cream to this. Reason being, if you add just the whipped cream alone, the temperature of Trinidad, the whipped cream tends to get soft very quickly. Right. So the extra custard is just going to help allow it to stand up better. Mm. So we just have whipped cream and we have our chocolate custard here, right? Right, 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 right. So it's, it's, as I said, it's going to stand up a little bit. So it's yes. not going to melt away under the heat. Exactly. Under the heat here. Nice. Okay, you want to give this a mix to me? So you might do it faster than I would, yeah. 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 I have a lot to do on the show still, you know, when you finish here, yeah, I still have a show to do. So tell me about Tempting, tem tempting Temptations. You, you've, how long have you been? No, tempting Temptations has been around for about almost three years. Three years already. Yeah, slowly, slowly coming. So I just recently started to push it a bit more. Right. And, and you, you were a student at TTHI. Yes. And, and learned all what you needed to, to, to learn there before yes. branching out on your, on your own. Exactly. Yeah, nice. And you always wanted to do pastry? Always want. Well, ideally food was the first love. Right. But then because of um, the short house. Chef Cheryl, yeah. twist she, your arm. She, yes. She um, twists your She can do that, you know. And then, well, I just <laughs> fell in love you, with the pastry. You fell in love with it after she twist, yes, twisted your arm. Yes, exactly. Oh, my A little goodness. ring is here. Yeah. <laughs> Nice, nice. And you, you know, this is what you do. Yes. Have you dived back into uh, culinary, into the food at all? Or? Some, yeah. some things. Like, this is really Mother's passion, Day or something. Right, yeah, right, cook right. Cook for right. mommy, but <laughs> not really so much. Yeah, got you. Mostly got of you, the sweet. So, so this is the whipped cream. So yeah. that's the whipped cream. And to the chocolate, mm -hmm. I'm going to do one, and I'll let you do the other. <laughs> if you insist. <laughs> so you're just going to take this and just... 
practicing your piping skills, right? We oui, sir. We oui, sir. We oui, sir. We oui, sir. Oui, sir. Oui, sir. Oui, sir. Oui, sir. Oui, sir. Slowly. Sir. Black Panther slow. No, slower than Black slower Panther. Slower than Black yeah. Panther, right, okay. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Nice. Hey, hey. It's going to taste good anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, right. it's, not, it's not in proper mm. formation, but I mean, I got... Yes. I got uh, a, uh, yeah, a little more. I got practice. You, you're a harsh marker, boy. Uh, All right, brother. Um, All right. So you right? Mm-hmm. Now we're just going to put some pink icing on the pistachio. Right. So it's just icing sugar, regal icing sugar, water, and I like to add a slight bit of butter to it. Yeah. So that it doesn't go flowing all over the place. Right, it stays okay, nice. So we're just going to pipe it on. And now to finish, just sprinkle some of the chocolate on the chocolate one or, or, or the pink one. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought the chocolate against the pink would have been cooler. You didn't yeah. think so. <laughs> Whichever one works. Whichever one works. Art is such a thing that you, yes. you can you can flow how you. All right, okay. The chocolate one does look good on the chocolate one as well. <laughs> You, you'll have that one. Reese, I want to thank you very much for dropping thank by this you. morning. So he shared, I think most importantly, how you can make plain old custard. Yes. And then add flavor to it. Exactly. I want to thank you very much. Check, thank you. check him out online. Tempting Temptations is his brand. And you do to order. You make yes, to order. All these wonderful eclairs you can get. Um, I, I will try the chocolate one okay. this morning. Yeah? Yes, sure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Come on back, fully Friday here on a cup of joke.